Hey kiddos, time for the daily bread. We are in Easter week and uh, it may be a good idea to go back and see some of the previous tracks just to refresh and have uh, Jesus on your mind as he went through his passion. Let's hear today's track. Daily track 725, John chapter 20, verse 18. Mary Magdalene went announcing to the disciples, I have seen the Lord and these are the things that he said to me. Kids, this is the simplicity of Christianity. God gives us our redemption as a free gift. You don't have to do anything other than believe that he died for your sins, rose from the dead, right? And that's the gospel. Jesus is the one who saves us. All we got to do is believe in him and repent of our sins. It's as simple as that. You, you say, Jesus, I believe in you. And I'm a sinner. Cleanse me from my sins. It's as simple as that. And that's the, the simple message that Mary brings back to the other disciples is they all think Jesus died, right? And so she goes back and tells them, the Lord is risen. And he's ascended to the Father. That's where he was going. Remember, Mary couldn't touch him because he has to ascend to the Father. And so now the disciples, of course, will have a choice. Do they believe or do they not believe? Do they trust in what Mary is saying is true or are they going to be doubtful? And we're, we'll see here. Some of them believe and some of them don't. And that's no different than today. We have all of the evidence that you need to believe in Jesus. Jesus was real. That is a fact. He's real. Just because a lot of time has passed doesn't mean something didn't happen in the past. He's real. All of these accounts were written no later than a generation after he died. So it's very trustworthy. Everything that you see written in the Gospels, these messages, things like this, is all trustworthy. It's real. And we have a choice today. We have a choice this week as we think about what Jesus went through. Do we believe? And we do. And we ask Jesus into our hearts to cleanse us of our sins and to change our hearts. He puts a new operating system inside of us. One that loves the good things and turns away from the bad things. God bless. I love you.